you're on fire. You gotta stop, drop, and roll. Three steps. Verbs could be like that. There's two things to check when a verb is underlined. My name is Paul Pasolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center at ivymasters.com. Today we're gonna look at test one, section two, number 40, which reads, on the graduate record examination, the GRE, for example, students intending to study philosophy in graduate school have scored higher than students in all but for other majors. So, what do we gotta check for? First, we gotta identify it as a verb. Verbs show action. Also, if you have has, have, had, is, was, will be, am, are, those are verbs that don't show action. You have to be able to identify them as verbs first before you check for what you need to check for, which is tense and subject verb agreement. So tense, typically what you're doing is you're checking the verbs before, before can be, present tense, the verbs after um, have present tense, and usually it's consistent with the verbs before and after. So usually we'd be looking for present tense here. The other thing you've got to check for is subject verb agreement. So we've got to identify the subject here. Who or what has scored higher? It would be students. And if it's unclear whether students would go with has or have or scores or scoring, then replace plurals with they, replace singles with he, she, or it. So they has scored does not make sense, A is gone. They have scored makes perfect sense. They scores does not make, per does not make sense. And they, scoring higher than students on all but four other majors, actually turns it into a sentence fragment. Watch out for those ing verbs. Correct answer here is B. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has trouble identifying subject verb agreement or what to do with a verb. If there's any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. And click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Have a great day. Thank you.